Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel Ecos Project Tutorial for Beginner. So in this tutorial, we are going to show the user how many products they added to their cart. So first of all, let me just log in as a user. So I'll just log in as a user, keep the password, click login. And there you can see that you are logged in. So right now, what we are going to do is that just beside this card icon, we are going to show the number how many product a customer added to their card. So here in the card table, you can see we have on two, three, four, four product added to the card by user ID all. So by using the user ID, by counting the user ID, we'll be able to get that total product number added in the card. So for it, let's just go back to the code. And first of all, we'll go to our index.grade.php and here you can see we included home.header which is this on home.header.grade.php and here you can see in this if route has login and here you can see we have the cart icon. So inside this cart icon, we're going to show the total number of product added to the cart. So here uh, this header.grade.php is inside the index.blade.php and here you can see slash dashboard. Uh, this is for when the user is logged in. Okay. So here you can see slash dashboard. So right now, let me just go to this route. Uh, this route is calling the home controller uh, login dot login underscore home function. So let me just go to app HTTP controller and here you can see home controller and we'll go to our login underscore home function so here we're going to write a query so here let me just declare a variable let's say dollar count equal to we're going to mention the card table model name so first of all we already mentioned the card table model name at the top in our controller so here we're going to say card then we will give this double clone then we need to give this to first bracket and here we need to mention this user underscore id here you can see so by counting how many same ID exist in the database table, we'll be able to count how many product they added to their card. So here we're going to say user underscore ID. And after that, we need to give a comma here and then we need to get the logged in user ID. And how can we get the logged in user ID? In the previous tutorial, I already showed you. So here, first of all, let me just declare another variable. Let's say dollar user then we'll give this equal sign then we'll say here odd double clone user so first of all we'll get the logged in user every data and after that we're going to say dollar user id equal to we're going to mention this dollar user variable here control c control v then this arrow sign will get the id we'll get the logged in user id from the user table so here we are checking if a user is logged in and if a user is logged in then using this user variable we'll be able to get the id and we we'll store the id in this user id variable after that here we're going to mention this dollar user id let me just copy this and paste it here and then we need to give this arrow sign then we'll say here count so let me just explain you a easy way so the user logged in right now is a regular user uh, which is this one here you can see user at date of gmail.com and his id is on so here first of all we are getting the logged in user id then we are checking in the card table how many same id exist in the table and then we are just counting them so right now we are going to send this dollar count variable to this view so let me just give a comma then we are going to say here count and let's go to our home.index and using this count we'll be able to get that total number of product in the card so we'll go to our home then index.blade.php and our index.blade.php included the home.header so we'll go to header.blade.php and let me just go down and we have the shopping cart here so after this i tag we're going to give to second bracket then we're going to mention this count so we just need to say here the dollar count and if we now save then if we now refresh here okay i made a mistake okay unexpected token okay i made a mistake here we need to mention the higher condition here so we need to say over here higher 
this ID matches with this ID. Let me just save it again. Then let me refresh. And here you can see we are seeing a number four over here. So we can keep it inside, let's say two third bracket. I think that will look better. Let me save it again. Then refresh here and there you go. So we have four product in the cart. So let me just log out and logged in as a uh, yamin at that of gmail.com and his id is three so right now if you go to the card table there you can see the id three is id three only added on for over here so we should see over here on let me just log out let me log in as a yamin at that of gmail.com let's keep the password here click login and there you can see we are seeing number on over here so right now if we go to the detail base it will give us an error let me just show you and here you can see we are seeing this error dollar count the thing is we didn't send the count variable data to this page so let me just go back to the code we'll go to our phone controller and here let me just copy this three line then we'll go to our this public function product details then we are going to paste it over here then we are just going to give a comma here and then we are going to mention this count over here so we are going to say here count if we now save it then refresh here there again see there is no error and right now if we just go to the root view like this it will give us again another error that undefined variable count so let me just go back and we'll do the same thing we just need to copy this three line again then we need to go to our public function home so from here we are returning to the home dot index when we are in the root root view so here again we we'll just paste the code and here we are going to give a comma then we we'll say here count save let me refresh here again and there you can see there is no error if I now click on home, there is no error. If we now click on details page, there you can see there is no error. And if we now add a product to the card, there you can see the card number just from on to two. Now there is still one more error that we need to solve. And that is right now, if we log out, we'll see a error. I can just show you, if I now log out, it will show us a error that attend to read property ID on null. The thing is, when you log out, there is no logged in user. So it will give us error for when we want to change the logged in user ID. Okay, so for it, we need to use a if condition. So let's go back to the code. And we'll go to our home controller. And here, uh, here you can see a big function home. So for this, in this function, we're going to give a if condition to check the logged in user. So first of all, we'll give a if condition. If there is any logged in user, only then count the data otherwise we'll just send a null value for the count so here we say e then to first bracket we say auth double grown id and then we we'll give to second bracket so what this will do is it will check if there is any logged in user id then let me just cut this three line and paste it over here so if there is any logged in user id only then can do this if condition and get the count data and if there is no logged in user then we'll go to the else condition and here we're going to set the count value to null so we we'll say here count i mean dollar count equal to null like this so right now if we save then if we now refresh our page there you can see there is no error but if we now click on details it will give us another error the same type of error so again let me just go back to the code and i can just copy this if and else condition from here and then i'll go to the product details and let me just remove this three line from here and paste whatever we just copied so we can also do the same for this login form as well so let me just remove this three line paste the code save then refresh here there you can see there is no error let me just log in let's log in to the yamin at that of gmail.com click on login there you can see and if you go down 
click give product add to cart our page will reload and there you can see product added to the cart successfully and we have three product in the cart so this is all for this tutorial in the next tutorial we will let the customers see the product that they added to their cart so thank you very much for watching if you have any question or any suggestion just let me know in the comment section make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials